Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this very smoky purple rockstar makeup look. It was very much inspired by rock and roll music and it's really flattering. And I also added a very vibrant purple lip using a new lipstick. So if you want to find out how to get this look, just keep on watching and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here is the completed look that we are trying to go for. It has a very straight edge on the end, so we're going to go ahead and get started on the other eye. First, I'm adding some Sheer Elf Eyelid Primer all over our eyelid just to make sure our eyeshadow sticks in place and you're just going to want to rub that in. Like always, eye primers are very important for eyeshadows. Then I'm going in with this Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studio in the color painted purple and it just looks like this. It's a very nice purple and I'm going to be using this on our eyelid and on the bottom as well. I'm also, I'm using this for an eyeshadow base just to make our eyeshadow pop more and to make it kind of, you know, stick better and it's just, it's a really great eyelid primer. I love these. Then we're going to take some scotch tape and apply it to the outer part of our eye just so we can have that very dramatic sharp edge and I feel scotch tape does a really good job of doing that. And then I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil by NYC and I'm trying to practice more with cut creases so I'm just kind of making a line on our crease just to kind of create that little you know, line there. And then I'm taking this really pretty purple color by MAC and this one is called Dame's Desire and it's a really gorgeous purple color and on a flat eyeshadow brush I'm just going to be packing that on our eyelid kind of fixing up that line as well and putting it over top of the color tattoo that we applied. This just kind of gives us that purple eyeshadow color that we are going for and I'm just kind of moving it kind of shaping that black line on top as well. Like I said I'm still practicing with the whole cut crease thing so just kind of bear with me as you watch me practice. I'm also applying that on the bottom part of our eye as well. Next, I'm taking this deeper purple color from my Artisty palette, and on a little pencil brush, I'm just going to be putting this on the outer corner of our eye, just to kind of have like a dimension of different colors of purples. And then with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to be blending those two colors together just to make sure that they are nicely blended out. blend out that black line. I'm taking this black eyeshadow from the same artistry palette and kind of going above that black line we created, not going anywhere near the purple because we really want, you know, the black to be away from the purple so it kind of sticks out, but the black does help give it that smoky effect. I'm also taking that deeper dark purple that we used on the outer corner of our eye and I'm putting that on the lower part of my eye as well and just blending those purple colors out. You don't have to put purple on the bottom if you don't want to, I just thought it would be a nice touch. And then afterward you can go ahead and remove the tape and then you have a very nice sharp line for your eyeshadow. Then I'm taking an e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and I'm making a cat eye. I didn't want the cat eye to be too dramatic, I just kind of drew one on like, like I always do. Uh, lately liquid eyeliner hasn't been agreeing with me so I'm kind of working with this again. <laughs> Next, I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero and applying this just on our waterline so you can kind of see the black eyeliner and the purple as well and I just kind of blended that out after I applied it. And then I took this really pretty purple lavender color from my BH Cosmetics palette and on a very little eyeshadow brush I applied that to the inner corner of our eyelid and on the kind of an eye highlight color as well just to kind of have a lighter purple there. And then of course I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and applying my favorite mascara which is the new L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly Mascara and I'm just applying this to my top and bottom lashes. This mascara does a really good job of giving volume to your eyelashes. Of course you can apply falsies if you want to. That is the completed eyeshadow look. Now for the lips, I'm using my new Maybelline Vivid Lipstick in the color 905 Brazen Berry. And it's this really pretty true purple lipstick color. As you can see, it's quite vibrant and dramatic. And then over top of that, I'm using this purple color lip gloss by Artistry in the color Ultraviolet. And I'm just piling that over top. And then once you've been 
completed all the steps. This is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this eyeshadow and lip makeup tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And let me know what other makeup requests that you would like me to do. I'm always open to doing different makeup looks. Make sure to subscribe and of course check out all of my links below if you already haven't. And I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. I will talk to you all later. Bye guys.